New at 10 now, a major shakeup at a Valley School District. The superintendent of Dysart Unified resigning. Some parents believe he was forced out. ABC 15's Jordan Bonke attending tonight's packed meeting in surprise in Jordan. Emotions running high. Steve, Katie, the best way to describe it, it was a hot crowd, emotions running high in a near capacity venue or on, on the district rather, uh, as many people just speaking out freely throughout this uh, throughout this meeting. Quinn Kellis not in attendance tonight. That's the former now former superintendent. The vote was three two here in the end. The reason as to why he's stepping down isn't very clear. Now we did hear from school officials close to Kellis who say he didn't want to resign. He has a year left on his contract and the district has to now pay that out. What is clear is that there are differences in how the board and the superintendent wanted the district to run. But most people tonight spoke in favor of Kellis, including the surprise mayor Skip Hall, who sang his praises as an educator, as a superintendent, as a man for two straight minutes. Here's some more people who spoke publicly tonight. One thing I, 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 that was that I'm aware of is maybe hiring decisions and, and trying to uh, uh, maybe hire administrators instead of sending money to the classroom. He will follow governing board policy and state law to the letter because he's a highly ethical man and they are interested in pushing political agendas. Now, in response, there is an effort to gather signatures to recall two of the board members who voted to accept the resignation of former Superintendent Kellis. Jim Dean, who was the assistant superintendent, he is now the acting superintendent. We were not able to reach Kellis when we were gathering for this story, and it's unclear exactly as of right now how much the district is going to have to pay out the remainder of the one year that's left on former Superintendent Kellis's contract. We are expecting, however, a statement from the district sometime tomorrow morning. We're live in Surprise tonight. Jordan Bondke, ABC 15, Arizona.